Hi everyone. I'm going to get right into the reading, so whatever the cards want to say, please keep in mind, as always, that I do channel multiple energy groups on here. So some of these readings will probably be for you. They'll be your energy group and others might not be. So only take it if it resonates. Never try to force it to fit. Like if it's really your storyline, if I'm really channeling you in this energy group, you're going to intuitively uh, feel it. You know, use discernment. It'll make sense to you if it's for you. And as always, I really appreciate your support. Thank you guys for commenting, uh, liking. I love hearing from you guys. Uh, so I really appreciate reading your comments, sharing the video. If you feel like maybe someone on your social media needs to hear it. And uh, subscribing too, if it resonates. Thank you guys. So let's let's get right into it. What do the cards want to say for this energy group? Earth sign could be dealing with an earth sign or someone with heavy earth placements. Gold digger, they want your money, you're being used. Air sign. Could be an earth sign and an air sign here. Gambling. Liar. Ooh. This is a really specific message for someone. I feel like one of you has heavy earth placements and one of you has heavy air placements in your chart. This is a really sneaky person. This is a... Uh, could be a Gemini here. Because I get that. I mean, no offense to Geminis. Like, you know, I know not all of you are like that, but I have met a lot of Geminis that do have that kind of like two faced energy. Like they're the twins, you know what I mean? And again, there's it depends on you can't just go off sun placements. You have to go by other placements in a person's chart, too. But I am kind of getting that like, like there's two sides to this person. I'm getting the, the twins here. You know, even if they're not a Gemini, I just get that like the, the twin kind of energy. There are two different faces. This person could literally have a gambling addiction. This person could actually have like a drug or alcohol addiction. And it's like they're maybe taking your money somehow. For others, I feel like there's two storylines here. For others, I just feel like this person's a psychic vampire. This person just wants your energy. They're addicted to your energy. It's like I'm seeing the devil tarot card and I'm seeing the tower tarot card. It's like you're a light source for them. You're an energy source. That basically this person's stealing something from you, whether it's your time, your energy, your light, um, something spiritual like that, or whether it's actually something physical, you know, actual money here. You need to be mindful of this person. Be careful. Someone might be sneaky here. Someone's a liar. Someone's two-faced. Someone, someone here can't really be trusted, honestly. This could be a friend, too. This could be a friend that's trying to get money from you and trying to get you to kind of feel bad for them. Let's, let's get more info on this. Open up your heart. It will help you attract more love. Pregnancy. Someone's expecting. Oh, that's... Ugh. What I get... Because as you guys know, I primarily channel. So, like, you, know, regardless of what deck I have... I read the cards differently. I don't see this as a positive thing. I see this as this person, which I'm leaning towards thinking they're the air sign and you're the uh, the earth sign or you're the one that has heavy earth in your chart. But take it as it resonates. Feel free to reverse the roles. But I feel like they're expecting something from you. That's the word I'm looking at here. I'm not really looking at the pregnancy. I'm looking at someone is expecting. They expect something from you because they see you as an easy target. They see you as someone who's open hearted. They see you as someone. It's, it's like they see you as someone who just really believes in love, that really believes in the good in people. They see you as someone who's empathic and they feel like they can get you to feel bad for them. Whether it's your energy and your light that they're wanting, like they just want to, you know, vent to you and just drop all their bullshit on you and just use you as a crutch or whether they're actually wanting money. Like maybe they're going to come in with a sob story 
And this was a heads up because maybe you already know about this. This could even be a child of yours possibly too. This could be a, like a younger sibling or a child or someone that's just going to come in with this whole sob story and they're thinking of the right words to say. And it's like, you're going to get this message. I, f I feel like you're, you're getting this warning because you're already feeling this energy and your spirit guides don't want you to be caught off guard because I feel like this person's very manipulative. Um, I feel like they're... They, they choose their words carefully. Whoever this is, they don't just randomly say things. So if they're going to ask you for money, they're not going to come to you in a genuine way. They're not just going to say, hey, honestly, like, I'm sorry. I know we haven't talked much lately, but like, I'm really going through it. Like, can you help me out? Like, they're going to come through with a with a fake oh how have you been doing I've missed you so much and like you know they it could be like a family member that like never talks to you and you're like mm, this feels weird um uh, like like they're gonna they're, they're gonna play it they're gonna they're gonna play games and they're gonna choose their words just very carefully when they ask you for this favor or for a car for maybe for a vehicle for money for a place to live something like that um for those of you that are in that that storyline where this isn't just, you know, someone trying to take your energy specifically, it could be both. It could be someone that wants both your, your you know, spiritual energy and like physical, you know, money here basically. But, uh, but yeah, your spirit guides don't want you to be caught off guard because you do have a good heart. You are a good person. And, and so I think this person knows they've learned how to read people and how to manipulate people and how to to wear these masks almost it's like they can present different images to different people they're kind of like a chameleon it's like they can just blend in they'll they'll uh they'll be whoever people want them to be to get what they want so with you they know the right words to say they're they're still thinking about it again they're still thinking about how they're going to come in and how they're going to play it how they're going to word it to get something out of you could even be like a false investment where they make you false promises like oh we're going to invest this money together and it's a bad business deal could be something like that for someone as well here but you're just being guided to to be logical to really be logical because i think what they're counting on is catching you off guard or saying something so heartfelt or so um, intense or so dramatic that you don't have time to think. Like they might pretend like something happened so that you don't have time to say, oh, wait a minute, I don't have that money. I can't give that money to you. You know, like they might come through, if this is like a child of yours, they might come through with like, oh my God, my car just broke down. Like I'm I'm in danger. I need your help. Like, I don't know how I'm going to get by if you don't send me like 500 right now. And it's, and it's like, you're going to feel off about it. You're just going to feel like this is like something's off. Like something just doesn't feel right. Like you're going to feel intuitively like this person doesn't really need the money. And they could even have like an addiction or, or something or gambling or drug or alcohol addiction. And that's why they, why they want the money. But, uh, yeah, you, you got to be logical here. You really got to be logical here, basically. Because, because you know, like I said, they want to catch you off guard. They want something really intense and dramatic. So that if you're if you try to... I think they see you as someone who doesn't have strong boundaries. Or they see you as someone who has a soft spot for them. Possibly because of how you're related to them. And so I think that they feel if they can present themselves as like in danger, and this could also, you know, play into if they're wanting uh, just to pour all their bullshit out onto you, if they're just wanting to just, you know, have that psychic vampire energy exchange and just dump all their problems out on you and not actually really listen to how you're doing, not really care about how, how other people are doing. It's just all about them, just a very selfish person. Um, it, you know, it would still apply. It would be like one of those things, like they just call you out of nowhere. They're like, oh, I just had a really bad day and they're crying on the phone. And it's like, you don't want to hang up on them, but it, it's, it's like, they didn't really, they didn't ask about how you were doing or they didn't say like, Hey, I'm having a rough day. I need someone to talk to you. Can I call you? It's like, they're gonna, whatever they're asking for, whether it's energy, money, time, attention, whatever they're wanting from you, I feel like they're just going to go about getting it in a very toxic way um 
again, because it's like, I, I feel like in their mind, if they can do something really dramatic and catch you off guard, then they their line of thinking is like, oh, he or she won't have time to say no because they'll be caught up in the drama. You know, like, oh my God, like I need money now. My car's, you know, I'm on the side of the highway. Please send money now. Like something really intense right now, right there, like, like that. So that, because like I said, they, they feel like you don't have a strong backbone. They feel like you won't say no to them easily. And so they feel like they can convince you, but they don't want to give you time to think about it. They don't want to give you time to try to set a boundary with them. So, you know, doing something where they're like, oh my God, I need the money right now. It's like, you don't have time to like, think about it and be like, no, actually this feels off to me. You're not, they, they don't want to give you a chance to use your intuition. Same if they're calling you and just venting to you and just dropping all their shit on you. They don't want to give you a chance to say, oh no, I, I don't think I can have that conversation today. I'm, I'm really, I'm at work or I'm going through something. It's like, you just get a call out of nowhere and, and you know, this person's crying and then you feel, you know, they, they play on your empathy and you feel too guilty to, to hang up the phone and to, you know, end the conversation politely. You got to have stronger boundaries with this person, regardless of how you're related to them. Because you also don't want to enable them. If this is like a child of yours that has a drug or alcohol addiction, or they're just, they're, they're not good at saving money. They're, they're very reckless when it comes to finances. And it, it's like, I know you want to care for them. You want to take care of them, but it's like, you don't want to enable them. It doesn't help them to send them money. If you know that most of that is just going to go towards, it's just going to be blown. It's going to, going to be blown on gambling or it's going to be blown on the same thing as it's always blown on. It's not, it's just going to be the same energy as before. You know, you got to be more mindful. And I think that it's a beautiful thing that you're open hearted. Don't let people like this take you for granted. Because there are people out there who are also open hearted, who are also empathic and loving and genuine and honest and caring like you are. There are people out there that will, you know, other empaths that you can resonate with that will genuinely care about you and want to know about how you're doing. It'll be like a mutual energy exchange. You want to get on that timeline, get on that vibration and resonate with that energy. Don't, don't give to these one-sided relationships. Don't let people like this just take from you and drain you and, and take your open heartedness for granted. You know, because it's like it's easy for the people like that to change you over time as well, because like eventually you become so hurt and so tired of being used that you become cold and, and bitter and angry and distant yourself. So you need to protect your energy, not only for you, but also for, you know, the people that are meant to come into your life that are going to genuinely appreciate that energy. They're genuinely going to appreciate how kind and loving you are and not take it for granted. You know, you got to you got to set. As an empath, you got to set stronger boundaries. You have to say no to people. You have to have a stronger backbone. You have to be, you know, use discernment more. Don't don't close your heart off. Don't don't shut out your emotions, but but be more mindful of who you're letting into your space, who you're letting into your energy field, you know? Sometimes when you're seeing the best in someone, it's like you're just seeing what you want to see or you're seeing your own light in this person or you're seeing p past energy or potential. But you got to also look at the red flags and, and look at the day to day. Don't just look at, at someone who, you know, for who they are on the core on a core level. Also look at who they are on a day to day basis, their decisions, their uh, their their conscious decisions, their actions what they choose to do. Like you need to be really mindful of those things. You need to protect your energy um, so that you can give to people that are just not only deserving of it, but people that actually want that energy and will appreciate and give back to you. You know, so, so you really got to learn those tough karmic lessons about finding that, that balance as an empath. You can be a genuinely good, honest person and be a loving person and be high vibrational and still help, still tell people to just go fuck themselves sometimes. You can block people sometimes. It's okay. That's There's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with protecting yourself. I'm, I'm hearing, I'm seeing that clip from, I think it's the Christian Bale Batman. What is that, that quote at the end? <sighs> I forget what the exact quote is, but I think it's something along the lines of like, it's not who you are underneath. It's, it's, it's your actions, your words, your, your current character that really makes you who you are. 
So it doesn't matter if this person's an amazing person, this, you know, potential air sign is an amazing person deep down. If they're consciously choosing to be a piece of shit and they're keep continuing to do that, you need to just you need to stop trying to, to dig and dig and dig for something more on this person and, and really believe what they're showing you. Um, is there anything else that wants to be said? I think that's it, but let's see. Maybe a pet health issue. Okay, someone could be having health issues with a pet. Maybe your pet needs to go to a vet. That could be for someone. Um, if your pet's acting different right now, take him to a vet. That's, that's something that someone needs to hear. Hmm. You need to openly communicate your needs and set stronger boundaries like we were talking about. Manifest. Yeah, tell the universe exactly what you want. Don't be wish-washy. Go forward, confess. Someone has to tell you something. I'm getting a vet. This is like a really specific message for someone watching. Someone watch someone that's watching, you need to you need to take your your pet to the vet. And I think you know this. Like they're acting different. Like they're not eating as much or they're like like meowing or barking a lot, like randomly. Like they're doing something really um out of the ordinary i just feel like they need a checkup hmm. okay anyway thank you guys for watching i'm gonna put this out there